Michael's four years the right balance to make Assassin's Creed game. Christopher Dring over at gamesindustry.biz. By the time Assassin's Creed Shadow launches this November, the game would have been in development for four years. It's the longest development cycle for the series so far, and 25% longer than its acclaimed predecessor in 2020's Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Quote, it's great to work on a game that comes after something with the pred pedigree of Valhalla, end quote, explains lead producer Carl Ani. Quote, but obviously there are great expectations. We always want to go better, which is what we're trying to do with Shadows. We are pushing the limits of what we do, end quote. He continues on, quote, it's always a balance between time and cost, but the more time you have, the more you can iterate. Yes, you can put more people on a project and do it in a shorter time, but that doesn't give you more time to iterate because it takes time to get the feedback from your players, your team, and then to see what works and what doesn't and how to improve it. Four years, I think, is the right balance to go from conception to production and get the feedback necessary to adapt. And quote. Assassin's Creed is one of the industry's leading franchises, so it's not an IP that Ubisoft will cut corners on, which is nice to see. He continued on, quote, we are trying to create a great game, create a game that, with, that is authentic as possible. It's something that we take pride in, end quote, Ani told us. Quote, and that is also a very long process. When you build a Japanese house from feudal Japan, it is very different from, say, a French medieval house or an English one. So you have to learn as artists where things go inside a feudal, feudal Japan house. Maybe the food doesn't go there. You have to get everything you need to know and learn it. And that is a long process to say the least, end quote. But there's definitely a lot more in this article. It is a fantastic article. There's a lot. So I definitely recommend you go over to gamesindustry.biz, check out the full thing. But is this enough time to make something that is authentic and proves worthy for Ubisoft's next Assassin's Creed title? For the Assassin's Creed franchise, I feel like it is, right? I mean, obviously, we talked about earlier today, GTA 6 been in development for 11 years. Obviously, completely different scope. But as you pointed out, this is much longer than, 25% longer than Assassin's Creed. Four years feels like that right amount of time. I think they kind of, you know, hit the nail on the head in the article where it's like you can it, you can iterate forever if you want, but there's going to be that window where you actually need to get the game out. Because, I mean, every day you'd be like, well, we need to make this better. We need to make this better. So, yeah, four years feels like it's enough. I think it kind of has to be enough, right? We talk about how loaded 2025 is going to be. I don't think this game could afford to be delayed to 2025, as big as the name Assassin's Creed is. There's just so many games coming out that they kind of have to hit this 2024 window. I think that's why they targeted. So yeah, it almost feels like it's enough, but it also has to be enough for this game to be remembered like the rest of the Assassin's Creed franchise. Yeah, Valhalla, it's funny because Valhalla was long in itself, right? Mm -hmm. Not only development cycle, but just long as a game overall. Then we got into Mirage, which was a lot a lot shorter, a much shorter, compact experience. And now we're getting into Shadows, where we're going to go back to that open world feeling where we had with Valhalla. So I'm curious to see how much longer, if they've taken four years to play, or four years to make and develop the game over time, how much bigger does that make the overall game? And now they said they squeezed it in between, I believe, Fall, uh, Valhalla and Odyssey. So we have a not as big but not as small as one or the other right but i think we're getting a good size but the, the attention to detail i think is gonna be there for the sticklers dude you i could walk in one of those feudal japan houses and not know the difference but i know somebody would right and mm -hmm. then they'll get called out on that so i like that he had touched on they have to learn as an artist what goes where i think that was a very cool meaningful little thought on their side of things to pay attention the small details make it all up in the end right but yeah Time is of the essence now at this point because they're going to have to get the game out, get it into hands of the fans, and let us guys speak for ourselves because, you know, we're going to be talking about it because I love Assassin's Creed. Just how it is. We'll keep you up to date right here. ITGTV.com.